how's everybody doing just making another video um basically on why you should not hit a woman back after she hits you and the reason for that is there's many reasons and i'm gonna i'm gonna go into detail and this is coming from a married man you know and um not only am i married but i've also been through um I've been through abusive relationships and I know how they are, you know, and I know how um, a man should act now. Now that I'm a little bit older and have a, I'm a little bit wiser, I'm over here talking about being wise and you put my seatbelt on yet. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so here we go. Um, the reason why you should not hit a woman back after she hits you is because one, a woman doesn't understand what she's signing up for. Um, and a lot of women, when they hit a man, they're not thinking of a quality, right? Yeah, we have a quality. And if some people believe, and I've used to, I used to have the same um, mindset as well, that, that if you feel like you're man enough to hit a man, then you're not feminine enough to not feel the repercussions of your actions and by that what i mean is that if you feel like you're tough enough to to hit a man then you can get hit like a man as well that it no longer matters your gender because a lot of women they abuse their gender they think that oh he i'm a woman he won't hit me back and then some 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 men put that up to the challenge you know and i do think uh, that's another thing I do believe as well. Like, um, I don't, I think if you're a woman, I don't think that you should abuse your gender. Um, so you, so you can abuse a man, you know, abuse a man. You get what I'm saying? But like I said before, women don't understand what they're signing up for when they slap a man, right? And my second reason, the reason why I say this is because, um, Women are not as strong as men are, you know? I've been to the gym, I've seen some buff-ass women, but on daily, on day-to-day -day basis, most women cannot, aren't as strong as a man. That's just the truth of it. That's just the biological, you know? That's just, women are not as strong as men. So, and also, you know, for the women that do get hit back when they hit a man, they think that they can use that to their advantage and, um, you know, and put down a man and tarnish his name saying, oh, he hit me, he hit me. Not putting in the point of the story where they hit them first or that they irritated them. You know, there's, at the end of the day, how about this? Nobody should be hitting anybody, you know? And then this is coming from a person who's who's been in in an abusive family i'm saying I've, I've gotten many fights with my brother i've been arrested before for domestic violence and stuff like that and guess what i didn't win anything from it all it did was take my time time is so valuable so when the police take that away from you you know i'm saying you can blame discrimination all, all you want but guess what i'm i'm hispanic you know i'm afro latino and the first, and the 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 officer who arrested me the first time when I was fighting my brother, he was a brother who looked like me. You know what I'm saying? He was black and Latino. You know what I'm saying? I got arrested by a black and Latino officer. So it's not about. I'm not saying that people don't get just discriminated. Don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm saying. Discrimination happens every day. You know, people are bad and people abuse their power. You know, but in my situation, right? I had no I had no one else to blame but myself. And that's the idea that I'm trying to push is that, you know, take accountability. You know, when we have problems with people, yes, it feels so good to hit somebody. Like I've had those moments too. Like I remember this one girl I used to date in high school. She cheated on me, right? And I I was friends with that dude who she cheated on me with. Well, I was a, like an acquaintance. And I hit that dude so fucking hard, his headphones fell off his I hit that dude so fucking hard, his headphones fell off his shoulders. I felt so great in that moment. I felt amazing in that moment. But what did it get me? Nothing. 
So that's what I'm, that's, so it takes me back to, okay, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't regret my past. And the reason why I don't regret it is because it's taught me. But am I going to sit here and act like, like everything was okay? Like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking from, from experience. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking from, from a place of, you know, I've been there before. I've done that. And guess what? Those things aren't cool. Don't, those are, those things aren't fucking cool. And there's nothing to brag about. I don't know how people try to scare other people. and like, yeah, I've been in jail. It's like, there ain't nothing fun about jail. There's nothing fun about jail whatsoever. There's nothing to brag about. That shit is embarrassing. And this is coming from a person who doesn't give a fuck about what people think. So if I'm telling you, if me, a person who doesn't give a fuck about what people think, I'm telling you that going to jail is embarrassing. That should tell you something. You know what I'm saying? You're like, I don't know who this video might help, but these are the words that I wish I would have known, you know what I'm saying, before I got arrested twice, you know, um, before I got stuff like that, and people try to throw my past in my face, like, it's not public information, it's public information, I got into fights with my loved ones, physical, you know what I'm saying, I've been hit back, and I did the hitting too, but at the end of the day, it didn't get me nothing, so, a person with experience telling you that, you know, when somebody hits you, don't fucking hit them back. Because you don't win nothing from it. You, you just, you don't win. It. The only, and, and if you feel mad, so mad at somebody that you got to hit them, think about the consequences. If, if, if nothing is stopping you back from hitting them, because I got away with hitting that one kid. Because I was in high school, right? And that kid knew he did wrong. But he decided not to do press charges. He decided to let it go. You know what I'm saying? He just let it go and he kept um doing his thing and shit like that and i kept doing my thing but imagine if it would have been somebody's son you know what i'm saying somebody who mattered you know what i'm saying like not no don't get me wrong uh because people matter i'm just, i'm not saying that that normal people don't matter i'm saying but like something like like what if it was like something like a president's son or um a cop's son or some shit like that who, who would have like, who knows what it would have happened, you know? You know? So, like I said, the the main topic was more like don't hit a woman under any circumstances, even if she doesn't hit you. But it doesn't even have to be about gender either way. It's just don't hit nobody. You don't gain nothing from violence. You don't. And, and, and it doesn't make you pussy if you run away from it either. It's like, bro, if... If, if you decide to get a gun, right? And all you do is just show your gun. They stop fucking with you. Problem solved, right? Or you just like talk your way out of it. That's what I do most times when I get an altercation. I just find my way to talk, talk, talk my way out of it. And I just try my best to not get into those altercations again. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I fucked up bad in my day. I've gotten into many, um, many situations. But I found my way out of all of them, you know? Cause I'm here to make that video, you know, and that's how you know that I've, 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 I've found my way out of all the bullshit, you know, I feel like, you know, maybe some older people might be able to resonate with this video, and maybe this can teach some younger people, or maybe nobody sees this video, who knows, but that's all I wanted to say, it's, it's just, the thought just came to my head, you know, the thought just dropped, dropped my head, so older I get, the more, um, the more I see that life is very valuable, you know what I'm saying, life is very, um, how would you say it, fragile, you know, like, um, like this, in a blink of an eye, you can be gone, you know what I'm saying, like, you can hit somebody so fucking hard, they just die, so, you know what I'm saying, Be good to each other and just try to stay out of trouble. That's the best I can say. And I hope y'all have a happy whatever day it is that you're watching this video. Alright, I'm out.